Welcome to Moe's Black Gold Barbecue. I'm Mo. I just want to say thank you to the people who subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. I know my number is small when it comes to subscribers. Eventually, I hope it will grow. But again, thank you. And to the ones who haven't subscribed, and if you are viewing my channel, viewing my videos, please subscribe. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so today, what's on the menu is spare ribs, St. Louis style. Went to my HEB, purchased them this morning. Thought, you know what, it's gonna be a beautiful day, so that's what we're gonna do. I trimmed them to how my liking. I applied the rub that I wanted on them. I'm not gonna foil them, and that's kind of what I was debating about, but I'm gonna go ahead and do unwrapped. We're gonna go throughout the whole smoke, unwrapping, just spritzing them with apple juice, and I'm gonna probably keep my temp maybe around 275. If it goes a little over, that's okay. But 275, I wanna try out there and see how the ribs go. But uh, let's go and see how it goes. And I just wanna say one more thing. If you watched that Saints and Cowboys game this past Thursday, I just wanna say, go Cowboys. That was a great game, great win. But uh, smoke on, let's get to this cook. Go Cowboys. I haven't placed the ribs on but I did pour my charcoal in my basket. I'm gonna go ahead and place this mesquite log on there. Let it catch before I put my ribs on and get at the temp that I want. All right, let's see how that mesquite log's going. Looking pretty good right there. So I'm gonna get at the temp that I want. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the ribs on the pit. Time to smoke. All right, as you can see, I put my ribs on. Looking pretty good with that rub already on there. And like I said before, I'm gonna let them go unwrapped. I don't know how long that's gonna take for them to be done, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna have a good time, play some music, drink some brews, and then. Uh, We'll just see how it goes. Stay tuned. Right, the ribs have been on for three hours. I've been spritzing them throughout the whole time. I'm open the lid and see, see how they look. I'm pretty sure they're looking pretty good. They have to have a nice color to them being on this long. But let's check them out. Oh yeah, look at that. After three hours. Oh, look at that. Get a little close up. Wow, look at that. And, wow, just look at that. Let me go a little slow on that. I'm going to spritz them. So, like I said before, we're going to go unwrapped. See how long the cook's going to take. But I can already tell you right now, they smell real good. That mesquite. Went real good right now, but uh, I'm gonna keep smoking and I'll get right back to you. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I apologize about the light, but uh, we're almost done on our cook. What I'm gonna do now, uh, towards the end, I'm gonna put some brown sugar on it, just like that, a little more on there. And what's next? I'm gonna get some honey. There we go, all in there. Give flavor or more flavor. Just like that. I'll pick you up a little more so you can see better. So that's how it looks with the honey and the brown sugar. We'll close the lid and soon we'll be done. All right, folks, I'm back. So this is what it looks like. My sausage that I purchased from Smitty's Barbecue down in Lockhart, Texas. Let me pull it up and see. Look at that, beautiful. Lockhart, Texas. Sausage is wonderful there. And we'll lift it up. So you can see the whole pattern of 
ribs and sausage. I'm gonna pull one up. That's how it looks, the meat. Look at that, what beautiful. And the bottom. Well, I'll tell you what, seeing how they look and how they smell, it's time to take a test. I'm gonna take a bite of them. All right, it's time to bite into a rib. Just the smell of it, you can smell that pork, but you can also smell the honey in it too. You can smell a little bit of the brown sugar, but uh, the only way to find out how good they taste is, you know, to bite into it. So here we go. Oh yeah. We're gonna add some flavor to it. Add that honey to it, and that brown sugar. Can't go wrong with that. Mm. Look at that. Yeah. Bite through, it's tender. Not dry at all, and that's what you want. It's pretty good for it going unwrapped. You know, when you go with wrapped, when you go with wrap, that means, you know, you want to get the moisture in there. We heats it up, the ribs and the foil or butcher paper, however you want to do it. You know, foil, that's Texas Crunch. But uh, when you do it unwrapped, can't go wrong with it either. It's real good. I got to take another bite. Mm. Right off the bone. That's what you want. Yeah. Like that. Just break it apart. Yeah, I wish you were here to eat this with me. Mm. Pork. Well, I'll tell you what. It was a pretty good day. Pretty good Saturday. Drank some brews, which was Budweiser's. Smoked some pork. Who's not mesquite wood? But uh, it's time to end this video. And I just want to say it's been fun doing these videos for you. I hope you've enjoyed them. And please like and subscribe. And I just got to say, smoke on. Barbecue, you got to love it. Thank you for watching.